hey, uh, follow me on Instagram. I, I really appreciate it. I just uh, got the ad Scrubby. It's pretty original. And if you don't, I'm going to throw an apple at your head. That's right, a whole apple. No joke. I haven't even taken a bite out of it. What's going on, guys? It's your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here, back with another video, ready to rub some pepperoni on my nipples and overall have a great time. I hope you guys are all having a great day too, because I don't know, I like when we're all having a great day. It makes the day a lot more fun. It makes telling a story a hell of a lot better. And most importantly, it makes my likes go up. And everybody knows that I really, really love likes, you know? Uh, Susan and me actually worked out a deal where I can pay my rent in likes. Yeah, no joke, no scam. But I'm gonna be telling you guys about the cringiest girl I have ever met. That's right. I've met some pretty cringy people over my lifetime. I've seen some terrible things done in the name of cringe. But today I'm gonna be telling you guys about the one person that I met that actually made me want to drag my nails across a chalkboard because anything would be better the sound of her annoying voice. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. If you guys could press the like button though, if you're hyped for the story, I would appreciate it. It helps the video do better. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I really like views and if you like, I get more views. And I'm desperate, okay? Susan, Susan raised my rent, guys, by 3%. I, I need your help. So regardless, guys, today we're gonna be talking about a cringe lord herself. This girl's name for the story, I'm gonna call her Abigail because her real name. I don't know. I feel like if I say people's real names, it makes the story a little too mean. Because I say really mean things when I'm telling a story, and I don't want anybody to feel bad. Uh, yes, I'm going to <laughs> roast this girl for the next, like, 10 minutes, but, uh, you know, ba bear with me, okay? I'm a nice guy at heart. One time, I, uh, actually gave a kid in Minecraft three diamonds so he could make a pickaxe, so I'm basically the pope at this point. But enough with the dilly-daddling, enough with the scrigidity do let's get into the video. So, uh, in high school, there's a group of cringy people. Everybody has, like, three or four or cringy groups and chances are we're all actually a part of a group that makes somebody cringe in some way. This girl was not one of those people. This girl was a social outlier. She didn't really have like a group that she belonged to probably because nobody really liked to hang out with her if I'm being honest because she was just the most annoying unbearable person to ever exist and I know that sounds harsh but you know I, I wouldn't say it unless it was true. I'm the type of person when I tell stories about people I fought I don't really think they're bad guys so if I'm saying that this girl was cringy and annoying you know I'm telling Telling you the god to honest truth. This girl was the type of girl that was somehow a blend of the weird horse girl we all know with the Tumblr girl and Pinterest, which just sounds like the most unbearable thing to ever exist, and that's because it was. Like, I followed her on Instagram because she followed me first, and I was trying to keep that ratio golden, you know what I mean? Like, you know somebody follows you, and you don't really, you know, you don't really know them that well, so you hit them with the follow back because it's awkward not to, like, it's a little rude not to. It was one of those situations, so I hit her with the follow back, just trying to be a nice guy, being, yo, what up? I'm Ryan. We can be homies. And immediately she starts posting quotes, inspirational quotes over the back of the Eiffel Tower, but they're not like good inspirational quotes. It's not, you know, let your success make the noise while you work hard in silence. I, I don't know what a good motivational quote is. It's stuff that's just not true. Like it's like people will never understand your dreams and passions. And if no one understands your dreams and passions, maybe you just have a bad dream and passion, like calling it crazy or, or quotes like, Success is not the metric for which you should be judged and uh, I'm sorry But what else are we supposed to judge you on if you have all the ideas and they all suck and they never take off? What, what am I supposed to think? Well, it's a little unfair to judge you based on your success You know you invented the three-legged dog how many people can say they invented the three-legged dog not many Yeah, because it's a bad invention. It doesn't make sense But regardless she would post stuff like this which was pretty cringy obviously But you know I lived with it It was pretty entertaining to log into Instagram every day and see something that would make me laugh make me cringe a little bit cringe to me is super entertaining. So whatever, I'm watching her post these quotes for a while, and then the singing videos start, and I know what you're thinking. Well, she's posting singing videos on her Instagram. How cringe could it be? But it's not normal singing. She would take pop songs, and you know, instead of just singing it normally, like a Taylor Swift song, I'm gonna use blank space, for example. Instead of saying, hey, I've got a blank space baby, and I will write your name. A normal singing voice. She was super into screamo, and she would do screamo covers of pop songs with no instrumental in the background and then post them on Instagram. So imagine you load up Instagram, you just woke up, it's 5.30 in the morning, you're just trying to see some cool stuff, maybe a couple inspirational quotes that don't make much sense to you, and you load up Instagram and the first thing you see is, I've got a blank space baby and I'll write your name with no music in the background. What are your thoughts? Hmm, I really, really, really enjoy this, or oh my god, that is the cringiest thing I've ever seen. I thought Norwegian death metal was supposed to stay in Norway with Benji. That's right, I was 
cringing, livid with cringe, some would say. How the Grinch Stole Cringe Miss. Hmm, maybe a good movie title. If anyone's listening and wants to chop me a couple bones for that gem of a movie title, let me know. But at this point, you know, we're only like 14, so I guess everybody had their cringe phase. Like, there's not many people that didn't post something cringy on Instagram when they're that young. Yes, there's something to be said for posting cringy renditions of a uh, screamo Taylor Swift, which is just really confusing. Are you going for the country vibe? Is it angry? Is it angry country music? Can that be a thing? Can you angrily take somebody for a ride on their big green tractor? I'm not really sure. I didn't grow up on a farm. However, what comes next is even worse. Then we start dating. And you know, when you're dating and you're 14, it's not very serious. Like if you're 14 right now and you have a girlfriend, I'm not trying to insult you. Obviously your feelings are your feelings and they're valid. Like don't get it twisted. But I think we all know the odds of you meeting your soulmate when you're 14 are very, very, very slim, and it does not happen to a lot of people. And this is all going on. She's still posting Screamo covers once a week. She called it Screamo Saturday. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. She made a theme, a series for it, like The Office, but for Screamo renditions of pop songs that nobody asked for a Screamo rendition of. But anyways, we're, we're getting weekly Screamo songs, and then she starts dating, and we're 14. 15 and in every week it's a new guy because when you're 14 you date around a lot most of the time you date like a new person every week a new person every month it's not long relationships we're not talking about here we're not dating people for a year we're not dating people for nine months we're dating people for short periods of time and every week with her new boyfriend she would post what her name would look like when they got married and talk about how she loved him and how they're going to be together forever and their children will have such a great father and after like boy 37 it gets a little bit old especially with screamo saturday still being a thing that should have been the red flag you don't date a girl that does a screamo rendition of sorry by justin bieber because that is just what she's going to do to you after you break up you know and after her and her boyfriend of a week would inevitably break up because uh saying that you're going to marry someone you've been dating for a week definitely 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 doesn't work when you're 14 she would post the most heartbreaking breakup quotes you know same ones from pinterest like the same person who made the inspirational quotes got broken up with a week after making the inspirational quotes and decided to just get depressing instead and they'd be like sometimes it's the right person at the wrong time on Tuesdays don't you don't you hate Tuesdays guys but without all that stuff right like all all of the Instagram cringe imaginable could not prepare me for what happened when I started to see her in person at school the the being in love and getting married to a guy and then the next week being like he broke my heart I'll never recover and then dating somebody the day after that the the screamo Saturday the 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 incessant disgusting inspirational quotes on her Pinterest see this girl wasn't content with just posting stuff on Instagram right no 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 that was not enough instead she would also go around school telling everybody like critiquing the, their Instagram accounts and I don't mean this in like a haha ha, she'd be like I don't like your Instagram way she had a ticket book a ticket book where she would write your at and your real name and tell you what you needed to fix about your Instagram because she just got social media that's her words not mine imagine the girl that does screamo Saturday telling you that your Instagram posts are lame because she just really gets social media while everybody is like bruh bruh is your boyfriend of the week broken up with you yet like what do you mean and she wasn't nice about it either she wasn't like hey, I think you post too many selfies. She'd be like, <clears throat> attention, Instagram ticket going to Ryan because he posted a picture in the same shirt twice. That's right. That's a big no-no on Instagram. And I would be like, wait, well, first of all, I don't care if you like my Instagram, you weirdo. Second of all, Screamo Saturdays aren't even that good. Surprisingly, I never got a ticket, guys. But imagine Screamo Saturday Girl walking up to you telling you that your Instagram sucks while also being in love with every single boy that's ever given her attention ever. From now on, I'm going to go and just comment on everybody's individual Instagram and be like, Instagram ticket goes to. And she would do it like in the worst times ever. Not at lunch. Not not when you're just hanging out with the boys. She'd do it in like the middle of class. Like imagine you're just booling in math class trying to do some quadratic formulas and this girl pulls up. <clears throat> Your Instagram's kind of gross. Cool, cool, ho, all right? I'm doing algebra. Can you leave me alone for like 30 seconds, please? I'm really not feeling this whole, uh, your Instagram kind of sucks because I, do I don't care. I'm in math class. Can you wait 30 seconds till I'm out the door before you start critiquing my 
my social media posting habits, I would really appreciate it. You absolute dingleberried moron. Dingleberried moron is a new one and I'm kind of digging it. I can't lie. And I'm especially not going to take advice from somebody that does Screamo covers of Taylor Swift. And if you like Screamo, that's fine, but don't post it on Instagram with no music in the background and expect me to be a fan. So if you're watching this, your Instagram sucked then and it still sucks now. And you're the cringiest girl I've ever interacted with in my entire life. On that note, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys have any topics, anything you want me to talk about, head on over to my Instagram, DM me. I, I, I try to see them all. Sometimes I miss some, I'm not going to lie. But I, I do try my best. So, uh, yeah, if, if you want me to talk about anything, be sure to head on over there. Press the like button, comment down below, all that good stuff. Hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Uh, don't get anyone pregnant. And if you do, make sure they're hot. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace. Thank you.